me to the book of Joshua, 6th chapter, starting at verse number 2 to verse number 5. And it reads, for your hearing. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given thee, sorry, See, I have given into thine hand Jericho, and the king thereof, and the mighty men of valor. And ye shall compass the city, all men of war, and go around about the city once. Thou shalt do six days. And seven priests shall bear, bear before the ark seven trumps of ram's horn. And the seventh day ye shall come past the city seven times. And the priests shall blow with the trumpets. And it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and ye hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall flat down. And the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. You may be um, seated in the presence of the Lord. If I had a topic tonight, it would be blow your trumpet. Blow means to move or to make something move. And when I think about blowing, I think about blowing our horn when people get in the way. You're driving 55 miles an hour and somebody pulls out in front of you doing 25. It makes me want to blow my horn. But sometimes we can't blow our horn because you never know what that person in that other car may try to do. So we have to be careful. But blowing of the horn, uh, blowing what they did was when they blew the horn, that was a sign to them. It wasn't to blow the trumpet for music. Blowing the trumpets of the, roar, the ram's horns was an alert. It was a warning. It was an announcement. When Israel heard the trumpets, they are going to sound a war cry. And it reminds me of this month. We've been praying for the prodigal sons. We've been praying for the lost, the sinners, and the backsliders, our sons and our daughters. And here to let you know on tonight, you must continue to blow your horn and blow your trumpet. Because blowing your horn and your trumpet is your praise and your worship. It confuses and puts the enemy to rest, or he begins to begin to panic. He begins to wonder what's going on. He doesn't expect us to praise and to worship in our situation. This messes up the enemy when we begin to praise and to worship the name of the Lord. The Bible lets us know that God had given him instructions, Joshua, and told them to march around the city for six days. They marched around the city one time, giving them blowing of the horn, giving them a warning what's about to happen, letting them know, hey, we're blowing this horn because something is about to happen in the city of Jericho. What they did, they carried the Ark of the Covenant. They armed men and went before the priests that blew the trumpets. The people behind the Ark of the Covenant came behind them. They could not say a word. What they could do was just walk around this the city. Up. They did it the first day. They did it the second day. They did it the third day. They did it the fourth day. They did it the fifth day. They did it the sixth day. Just like some of us are praying for our lost loved ones. We've been praying for them for a while. But don't stop blowing your trumpet. God hears and the enemy knows that there is a warning right now in the name of Jesus. Continue to blow your hump your trumpet on tonight, saints of God. What they did, they marched around the city the seventh day. They marched around six times, and when they got to the last time, Jer I mean Joshua told them to shout with the voice of triumph. I'm here to remind you today that seven is God's perfect number. That means completion. So whatever you're dealing with in your life, continue to blow your trumpet. Continue to give God the glory. Continue to give God the praise, because the battle is not yours. It's the Lord's, and it's already won. You got to look out, devil, because here I come. I'm blowing my trumpet. I'm blowing for my loved one. I'm blowing for my son. I'm blowing for my daughter. I'm blowing for grandma. I'm blowing for grandpa. I'm blowing for my cousins. You ought to shout hallelujah 
in this place tonight if you plan on blowing your trumpet. I hear the word of the Lord saying, wait on the Lord and be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say on the Lord. Don't wait till the battle is over. Give God praise right now. Don't wait till your situation changes. Give God praise right now. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah in the house tonight. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So saints of God, be encouraged. It may not look like they're coming in right now, but blow your trumpet. Blow it loud and blow it strong. Hallelujah to God. Somebody ought to say hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory to God. Saints of God, continue to blow your trumpet. God bless you in Jesus' name.